the leader of Ire Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elisha Ayodele, has informed President Bola Tinubu of five things he must do to survive while in office. If not, if you go against these five things, Tinubu no go survive them. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for late stopping by. God bless you all. Ayodele said Tinubu must crash the price of food, reduce electricity tariffs, tackle insecurity, and address the issue of fuel subsidy. In a video on his social media handle, the prophet tax Tinubu to be cautious of those around him because they would stab him as they did with the former president, Gulag Jonathan. According to Ayodele, Tinubu can only survive if he maintains his lane and does what is needful. He should crash the price of food, he should reduce electricity tariffs, he should tackle insecurity, he should remove fuel subsidy, and the last and the least is for him to address infrastructure. He will see that there will be 24 hours light, everywhere will be fine, and people will not talk about him again. If he still thinks that he has policies to implement in Nigeria, it will not work because the angles surrounding these policies are not active. They have been disabled. The angels ruling Aso Rock are no longer there. There is a cloud and anything could happen in Aso Rock. Okay, guys. Uh, Ayodelena said, Nigerians should pray that the flag in Aso Rock is not flown out uh, halfway missed because a prominent person might pass on there. I am giving security intelligence and some of the people that Tinubu is carrying will stab him just like they did to Jonathan. So what is he trying to say now? Maybe President Bola may Tinubu not go fit, complete his tenor. Hmm. Well, Nigerians can the talk say those angels will never return to Aso Rock again as long as his satanic policies continue. Even if he, he, he implement these advice, effects will take time to be fed. Money, especially foreign exchange, will be required. But the little foreign reserve we have is being frittered away on themselves and their cronies. The head is already off, and only the supreme being can remedy the very bad situation. Okay, uh, well, Nigerians, let's tell ourselves the truth. Hmm? Well, about person when go buy or whatever. No, I don't know that one. Mm -hmm. I not get, I not get three eyes when they see. Uh, but the truth is that if you look at what is happening in in Nigeria. You see these five things he mentioned. That is the, the problem we are facing. And this is where our leaders are lacking. They lack all these things. Oh. They lack it. All these things, they lack it. They are not, you know. They are not thinking about Nigerians. They are not thinking about the country. They are just thinking about themselves. You understand? This is bad. The way things are going in Nigeria today is bad. You understand? Even if it starts today, just like where, what one commentator said there, it's going to take, you know, a lot of time for things to, you know, normalize. They don't spoil the country, they say they don't spoil them. They don't say to spoil, it they day easy. You get, but to repair, now it they hard. These people should understand. It's not just that you want to be the president. Nine minutes, you know. What can you offer? You get all the promises made by this government. No one. They have, they have actualized. Apart from the first subsidy that is causing more problems to the Nigerian people. Though it's not what they told us we are saying. They told us that with the first subsidy remover, life is going to be better. But that is not what we are seeing today. Life has become worse. You get. Uh, just like what Yoruba 
the leader said a few hours ago that President Bola Metinubu administration have turned Nigerians, you know, mostly their people, to international beggars. To international beggars. You understand? The matter now very serious one. Not be said in the talk up. The hunger in Nigeria today, you not get pay. But these leaders, they don't understand. They don't understand. President Bola Metinubu have said Nigerians should manage, they should cope with the situation because there's no how he's going to go back, you know, uh, uh, talking about his policies. Even God, God that created heaven and earth, when God takes some decisions too in the Bible, we see, see some situations when by uh, people call the beggar, so I beg, make it change in mind because the, the decision he took is not in favor of them. But God changed his mind. If you say you are doing this for Nigerians, and the same people are telling you that this is not helping us, why can't you just look into it and do something about it? That is not how a leader leads. A good leader listens to his people. A leader is supposed to be a servant to the people. So you listen to them. You understand? Listen to them. When they talk, listen. Nigerians are hungry. The poverty level is, 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 is getting out of control. Unemployment. Our youth are there. No job. Nothing. You get. No road. The whole Nigeria now, all the federal road, no one is, no one, no one, no one is motorable. Everything about this country now is upside down. And somebody is there saying in 2027, life will be better. Just get ready. Just get ready. You understand? So guys, at the drop ahead, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.